Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Those on Facebook, if they have not shared the mass, share it now so that your colleagues will be aware the mass has started. 
Let us pray. May the splendor of your glory dawn in our hearts. We pray, Almighty God, that all shadows of the night may be scattered and we may be shown to be children of light by the advent of your only begotten Son, who lives and rests with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May we be seated for the reading to be taken by Mrs. Immaculate. Sorry, not Immaculate, Kate Michael. First reading A reading from the book of Sirach. In those days, then the prophet Elijah arose like a fire. And his word burned like a torch. He brought the ferment upon them, and by his zeal he made them few in number. By the word of the Lord he shut up the heavens, and also three times brought down fire. How glorious you get, O Elijah! In your wondrous deed. And who has the right to propose which you have? You who were taken off by the building of fire in a chariot with horses of fire. You who are ready at the appointed time. It is written to calm the rod of God before it breaks out in fury. To turn the heart of the father to the son, and to restore the tribes of Jacob. Blessed are those who saw you, and those who have fallen asleep in your love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let for Sarah Sam, our response shall be, O oh God. Bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. O oh God, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. O oh God, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. O oh God, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hear us. And throne of the cherubim, shine forth. Rose up your minds and come to save us. O God, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. God of the host, turn again, me and Lord. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it. The vine your right hand has planted. Respond. O oh God, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall not be saved. May your hand be on the man at your right hand. The son of man you have confirmed as your own, and we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. Respond. Mm -hmm. O oh God, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Bless you, affirmation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. All flesh shall see the salvation of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 17, from verse 10 to 13. As they were coming down the mountain, the disciples asked Jesus, Then why do the scribes say that first Elijah must come? He replied, Elijah does come, and he is to restore all things. But I tell you that Elijah has already come, and they did not know him, but did to him whatever they please. So also the Son of Man will suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that he was speaking to them of John the Baptist. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. By the hearing of this gospel, may our sins be blotted out. Amen. Mr. Theophilus Okoracha, you are welcome to this Eucharist. You have been cut off for a long time, and thank God that you are here with us today. Dear friends in Christ, I have been talking since today. But this night, I want to once again assure us that the season we are is a very serious season. A season of preparation. A season of repentance. May we not be like those that the Gospel spoke about that experienced the return of Elijah and did not know it. When we are so consumed by the things of the world and the material things, we lose sight and may not be conscious of the moments of grace that God prefer or provide for us. Season of Advent is a special season, a season of grace, and every one of us ought to utilize this opportunity and reap the fruit of grace that is flowing in this season. God is ready to answer our prayers. In this special season, I pray that God will bless every one of us with all our heart desires. And as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in this season of Advent, may our Advent observances and spirituality bring us a common divine favor and the graces that we need to excel in life as Eta Christians. And may God bless His word in our hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I'm looking book, page 15. Number of the career. I'm looking page number 50, page 50 to number 50. How can I repay the Lord for His goodness to me? Is goodness to me. 
May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the loneliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That what he when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest. We who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so the angels, with angels and archangels, with thrones and communions. And with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make only the earth for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them and the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
my Lord and my God. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended into the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and take from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <laughs> My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chance of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How do we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit? Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and may have the fullness of charity. Together with Francis Apoe, and our friend Martins, our Archbishop, our Cobese, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray. 
and with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her holy spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Throw him out with him and in him. O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, affirmed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. As it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, we say to you, apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. A wave offering to those in the Zoom. And then those on Facebook, you type in peace be with you to your colleagues on Facebook. Please be with you. Love of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be you. Then the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Are you watching in the blood of the 
or send us their own support and let us know about it. Those who booked mass today, I am going to call your masses tomorrow. However, we have prayed for you because your intentions are in this mass. For the sake of the program, I did not close on time because of the way anointing was flowing. I couldn't extract it or even forward it to my secretary to help me do so. So, but tomorrow, your intentions and your names will be called at Mass. And tomorrow Mass is Sunday. So those in the Zoom community, if you wouldn't mind, you stay back after the Mass so that we can share liturgical function for the next Midnight Mass. I want to appreciate all of you and thank you for your activity and your responsibility in this particular Midnight Mass community and the family. I continue to pray that God will bless you, that God will grant you all your heart desires. May you never regret being a member of this online community through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Those who want to book Mass for the month of December, the door is still wide open. Appreciate God with your Mass. Ask God to bless you and also book Mass for other intentions. And as we do so, we will continue to pray for you and God will grant all your heart desires. For those who are new, especially those on Facebook, you are to send a message to a messenger or to our WhatsApp if you want to book Mass and say, I want to book Mass. And you will be replied by myself or one of my secretaries on how to go about it. Glory be to Jesus. I want to also encourage every one of us who are new to this platform or those who are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel to please do so. And our YouTube channel is Holy Trinity Adoration TV. And God bless you as you subscribe through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessings of the Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you both now and forever. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Family in book, page 101. Rock of ages, clap for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the world stand and go from the leaves and go. The young see the love of you. Say before it goes and pass. All the labor of my hand, I'm too pure, my body, man. Could my sin, no rest, my no, could my sin forever blow, all for sin. After Mass, bless the Lord our hearts and mind, and grant as we leave your house, we may continue to be aware of your presence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Vincent de Paul. Pray for us. Saint Justin de Jacobis. Pray for us. Saint Louis Maria de Marillac. Pray for us. Let us bless the Lord.